So as a computer user, what's the one thing you fear? Losing data. But it's going to happen. One day you turn it on, your hard drive's going to start clicking or it becomes unreadable. You can't boot into your system. Doesn't matter if it's a Windows machine, if it's a Mac, if you're using Linux, it doesn't matter. Eventually, it will happen. Just happened to me. One of my network drives, gone. Lost a lot of family photos and videos. Losing a lot of sleep trying to do this uh, recovery. But I want to show you a program that can help you avoid all of this. So over here, we're looking at Macroom Reflect. It's a free program. They do have a paid edition, but the free one will do. Not so long ago, I replaced my 500 gig drive for a Samsung SSD 120 drive. Big difference in size. But you know what? The speed of the SSD is incredible. So it's worth it. But the one thing I didn't want to do is reinstall Windows from scratch. I didn't want to have to deal with the drivers, reinstalling all my applications, Pro Tools, and all the plugins, the instrument files. Yeah, call me lazy, but it usually takes me about a good two days to three days to get my computer working the way I like it. Let's say you just did all of that. You got your computer to that point where it's just great. Everything's working good. Your antivirus is up to date. That's if you use one. You feel like, okay, this is perfect. So over here, we're looking at the Samsung drive, the SSD. Let's say I wanted to back it up. Over here, image this drive. This window's gonna open up here. You have two options. You can send the image to an external or an internal drive, or you can burn it to DVD or Blu-ray. Usually what I do, I'll send it to a network drive or to an external or to a secondary internal drive. Once it's done, you're good to go. So let's say your computer did crash. Now what? Hopefully, you created the rescue disk. It's going to ask you when you first install this program, so please do that. If you didn't, over here, other tasks, you want to go to Rescue uh, Media. You want to come here to the Create Rescue Media. Once you do, just leave it at default, follow the steps, download it, burn it. Whenever you want to restore, you're going to put that DVD in the drive. You're going to shut your computer down, and you're going to boot from that DVD. And once you do, let me show you. So over here, I have my virtual machine. And I'm booting from a uh, network. I'm booting from my uh, server. So what you see here, don't worry about it. Your computer's not gonna do any of this. One thing that I forgot to mention, when you create that disc, that rescue uh, DVD, it's gonna ask you 32 or 64 bit. Choose the appropriate one for your system. So I'm gonna select the 64 bit. All right guys, so the DVD loaded, starting Windows. Since this is my virtual machine, But I just wanted to show you guys how it looks when you boot from that disk. Now, let's say this was the actual computer. What you want to do, you want to go to restore image. And you want to go to browse for an image. And now you want to locate that uh, drive. Once the image is loaded, then you want to locate the destination, which is the drive that you're currently using or your new hard drive. Like I said, if you change hard drives, you don't have to reinstall Windows. You could restore using this image or have that option so there you go that's uh reflex is a pretty cool tool but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know see that subscribe button please click that give me a thumbs up